Hey, what's up guys? Today is Saturday, October 10th, 2020, and it's around lunchtime, and this will be my brunch. Today I have a Norwegian Arctic field ration. This is for the Norwegian Army, I suppose, and this is made by Drytech company, and has a lot of stuff in it, actually. So it's going to have a freeze-dried main course along with a bunch of really nice snacks and sides, as you can see. So this is menu number 16. Uh, I don't know if it says the menu number, but this is menu number 16, I know for sure. And the main course is cod and creamy curry sauce, which is very interesting. It's also chocolate with nuts, uh, peanuts, an energy drink, beef snacks, which is like a beef jerky, fruit soup, which is very, very interesting. And it's not in all these rations. It is like a hot fruit drink which is really, really cool with bits of fruit in it. So I've been really looking forward to that for the last couple weeks I've had this. Um, some spicy sauce for your main, I suppose. A nice spoon, a disinfectant wipe, or a moist outlet, as I like to call it. Chewing gum, a Ziploc bag, and some coffee, which I usually will not review. And also this one is a, a 2021 expiration date. So it's, it expires, or it's best before um, Halloween of next year. So we have over a year to go here since it's October 2020. So yeah, what's really cool is that this um, this package label is like a really is like a it's like a sticky label that you can seal your pouch with um, later on when you open it. So which is really cool and has a message right there: stay focused and avoid fatigue. So yeah, but the way you open this is you take the corner and you tear it. But here's the back. So it's slightly see-through green plastic. But it's a, it's a very small ration. You can just like, you can see, it's not that big. So let's get this opened. And we will see the contents for the first time together. So it's very convenient. It's very, it's very small and it saves a lot of space. So we have a 60% cocoa dark chocolate energy bar. Wow, that's very cool. They give you a full chocolate bar instead of the two measly pieces of chocolate that some other places give you. Um, nice, fruit soup with tropical fruits. Wow, one portion. So you actually put boiling water. Very interesting. Nutrition facts there. And yeah. So it says here to DL, so that's like a deciliter, I suppose, so it's like 200 milliliters. Yeah, it's about it's about like a normal cup. Well, a cup is 250, so a bit less than that. Uh, spicy sauce, I'll definitely have to try that out. Colombian freeze-dried coffee. Disinfectant. Wipe, here's a swab, but it's definitely a wipe. Chewing gum, peppermint flavored. Main course, wow. So this all seems to be by the same company because it's like a real whatever. I guess that's their their motto or slogan. So like that right there, um, real on the go, real field meal, pretty cool. It's a pretty small main when freeze dried, but when you rehydrate this, this content, it's gonna expand a lot. So yeah, look at that. All right. Beef snacks, so it's like small jerky strips. Very looking forward to this because it's a very unique snack that you'll not get here in the United States. Salted, roasted, freeze, I mean not freeze dried, um, vacuum sealed packed peanuts. Very cool. Spoon, which you will always need. And an energy drink. So 300 milliliters of water here. And the last item is a plastic bag, which I will not be using for today's video. You guys can probably hear the wind in the background. It's a bit chilly, but it's not too cold. So I'm just gonna roll up my sleeves and let's get started. So I don't want my boiling hot water to get any colder as it's already not optimally hot. So I'm gonna rehydrate this meal first. So I'm gonna tear at the tear notches and see what it's like. Cod and creamy curry sauce is, oh wow. So the best before date on this is 2025. So it's seven years after production because it's a freeze dried meal. So 
yeah, which is very cool. If I could just get this open. Wow. I heard that air get let in all of a sudden. So let's just like crumble it a bit so the air gets in. So that's what it looks like. It smells like creamy cod. I'm not even kidding. You would never expect something like this to look like creamy, to smell like creamy cod. I don't know what this is a chip of, but I'll take a couple bites of this dry. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is really creamy. So that was a small flake of cod, as you can see. It's like, like this. And it's in like a slightly curryish powder. It's like a yellow, very, very slight hint of curry though. Not much. You also have carrots in there. I don't know what else is in there. Maybe potatoes and carrots and just the sauce. Let's try another piece of the cod. Big piece. Look at that. Mmm. That's amazing. This is my first time ever having freeze-dried fish and it's so good. It's very savory. It's absolutely delicious. Okay. Let's see, how much water do we put in here? Does it say? It should say. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's just eye it, but it's better to underestimate than overestimate how much water to put in. So I'm just gonna start off with a bit and let's stir it up and see what it looks like. That will stand up on its own, hopefully. So here's a spoon, pretty standard plastic spoon. Definitely a longer one and not very flimsy. So that's a, that's a bonus. Cause some of them are pretty low quality, but Norway, I know they're not low quality. Okay, I don't think I had enough water. I'm gonna add more. All right, that was about, Eight ounces, I think. Okay, on the other hand, the spoon has cracked halfway down the middle. So, let me take back what I said about the quality of this specific spoon. Um, maybe I just got unlucky with it, who knows. Okay, there's still some dry contents. Okay, this is just not gonna work. The good thing is I have a metal spoon to spare in the back. And this, I know, is not going to break. All right, let's mix it up. There's still some dry parts at the very bottom. Hard to get. Um, yeah, let's add a tiny bit more water. This should be almost it. Okay, that's good. So let's let this sit for a bit. Hmm. It's kind of like the beef stew that I had for um, from the U.S. cold weather ration, but uh, fishy and more curry flavor. But the essence of the texture and some of that potato and carrot smell is the same because it's freeze dried. Okay, let's get on to the fruit soup. Have to try this out. I will leave timestamps for your convenience in the comments or a description below. So yeah, let's see that. Fruit soup, wow, look at that. There's bits of, I believe apples and papayas in there, which is really, really cool. Just pour that into a glass. Don't wanna waste any of it. Let's just try a tiny bit of it <clears throat> dry. Let's see, small piece of fruit. Mmm, it's like a really sweet tropical powder. I don't even know what it's gonna taste like. Okay, so it said about 200 mils. I'm not gonna add as much. That should be it. Probably should, I should lick, my, lick my spoon clean. <laughs> All right, there we go. So it's got like a fresh apple juice color to it, 
you guys have ever had fresh apple juice. It's not like the clear, darker color, but it's actually the color of actual apples. And this is what it's looking like. So the, the orange pieces of whatever fruit, papayas, I believe, or mango, are at the bottom, whereas the apples or lighter fruit is uh, floating at the top. So I'll let that sit there for just a brief moment to reconstitute the fruit, so I'll get a better chew. And we can start off with our snacks, I guess. So, let's do this. I don't want too much stuff in the way. Okay, beef snacks. You get 25 grams. They're like little strips. Wow. So, has anyone ever seen beef jerky cut like that? I don't think so. It smells like Jack Link's original. Looks like it too. It's actually a very smooth texture. So it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely gonna be interesting. One doesn't give a lot of taste. Let me try a couple more. Mm. So this is chili and garlic flavor. Mm. The chili isn't very spicy. It has a tiny like sour kind of like hot flavor, like the hot sauce sour kind of flavor. Uh, the garlic is a bit more prominent, but still not terribly prominent. It's not very salty like Jack Link's or, or any other brand of, you know, big brand of American jerky. But this is definitely all natural and has a really good, has a really good texture. Wow. Let's open up the penis while we're at it. They're very tightly packed and you can hear the... You can hear the air escaping as soon as I opened it. And all those peanuts just collapse. Let's try some of these roasted salted peanuts. Oh wow, they're very salty on the outside. But their roasted flavor is so prominent. It's delicious. The color's on point, the texture's on point, the flavor and the, the roasted aroma is is better than what you what you could um expect from any packaged peanut. Because they, these taste really fresh. Of all the rations I reviewed on this channel, this is by far the best. Mmm. dark chocolate bar it's a bit deformed because of the way it was packed in it was very squished but i don't think the heat got to it hmm. all right there we go the tear notch didn't work wow hold on it's strangely shiny. I was not expecting it to be shiny. If you guys didn't see that, I'll show you in a second. It's a bit stuck in there. It's very glossy and not sticky at all. You guys see that shine? That looks a bit strange. Anyways, let's give it a smell and then a taste. It smells like dark chocolate, but not too dark. It's not too creamy. It has the perfect balance of sweetness, actually. I'm not a big fan of very sweet chocolate, but if it's too creamy, it tastes way too unhealthy. And this tastes amazing. I mean, dark chocolate from Norway? What could go wrong? Mmm. The 
the only word to describe it that I have not used yet is addictive. They give you enough to satisfy your hunger for this chocolate, and you're going to be eating a good amount of it. So you're going to want to eat the entire bar. I can't remember another time when MRE gives you legit chocolate and like not in just a tiny package this big. Like the Lithuanian one had pretty good chocolate, but this one's definitely better. And they give you like five times more. Wow. So let's move on to the fruit soup, but I don't want to drink it after having this sweet chocolate. So I'm just going to take another bite of jerky, maybe some peanuts. Wow. The jerky was a bit tougher to chew. Maybe because it's a bit colder outside, but if you take a handful of this, it'll take you a while to get going. All right. The holy grail, in my opinion, of this ration, of any Norwegian ration, fruit soup. I didn't want to put too much water because it's only going to dilute it, so let's smell it. Wow. The only time you get this tropical smell is like when you get that that orange colored gum, the tropical flavored. But that one's too artificial. This one doesn't smell like that. This one's like a really nice, fresh, warm apple cider with that tropical scent. So without further ado, let's take a sip of it. And just as I expected, the floaties are apples. They're not too crisp anymore. They're nice and firm and soft. Wow, they have a good chew to them. The drink, the liquid itself, I can't describe it. It's like, you know when you have a soup and it's savory, it makes it way better. This is like the savory version of like a sweet drink. It adds that whole nother level to it, but it's not like actually slavery, um, savory, so yeah. It's really good. Mm. Let's try some of that papaya. So that has not reconstituted as well as the apples, so they're quite hard still. But this warm fruit soup, you're not gonna get anywhere else. It's so good, it's so refreshing. It's a lifesaver in the cold weather. It's absolutely amazing. It tastes so good, this chocolate won't even do you any justice after having this. Okay, so the last item before our main course is the energy drink with a taste of lemon, which is pretty interesting. So it says, so here there's like a fill line. It says then fill with water. So full fill. It's a fill there, I guess. Interesting. Let's tear this open. It has kind of crystallized, which is weird, but this should be fine. It's a very strong vitamin C and artificial lemon flavor. Interesting. Okay, I'm assuming that it wants you to fill up to that line, so we're just gonna fill it up to the line. I don't wanna spill this. It doesn't seem like this can hold a lot of water, so 300 milliliters is gonna be interesting. Okay, actually, it does fill. I think I filled to around the line. 
at that. Um, I'm going to add just a tiny bit more and then shake it up. This reminds me of the Lithuanian one where that one, I believe, that powder was crystallized as well. And this smells just like it. So this might be my least favorite part I'm anticipating, but let's not assume anything. Okay, I think we shook it up, shook it up enough. Let's see. So it's got a bit of foam on top. Interesting. Should be like a yellow color, a nice yellow color. Yeah, P yellow. All right, let's give this a try. So the lemon flavor is really strong here and it's so strong to the point where I can't even tell if it's artificial or real. Very interesting. It's quite sweet and not very acidic at all. So this doesn't really taste like a vitamin C drink, but it does say it's an energy drink. So there should be a good amount of electrolytes in here. Here's the back. All right, let me drink one more sip or a couple more. It's actually not that bad, but it's not, it's definitely not the best part of this ration. I am pretty impressed with, however, the fact that the crystals dissolved, unlike the Lithuanian ones that didn't. There was a lot of residue at the bottom. So this one, not too shabby. All right. This fruit soup, I just have to keep on going back to it. After drinking that, you have to drink this. I mean, this just tops it. Words can't describe how good that is. Here's the plate of snacks. So I'll move that to the background as we move on to our main course. I will try this at the very end. And I will try the spicy sauce as well, don't worry. But before the main course, we must continue our tradition of using the moist towelette. Let's see. Okay, very moist can see that. Mm, this one smells a lot better than the other ones. This one has alcohol in it. There's probably ethanol. There's some ethanol content to this. And this is the first time that a moist towelette that I found in the ration has this much ethanol in it. Which is really cool. So it definitely cleans off all your germs and it stays wet and I mean, it rips like every other moist towelette, but this one has more moisture content and it's definitely cleaner. And that artificial lemon smell from the other ones, it's not gonna stay on your hand because this, this is just gonna evaporate. Wow. So very, very good. All right, let's see the main course I've been waiting for. Cod and creamy curry sauce. Now, this might not seem appetizing as a menu, but from what I've smelled, it's just pure quality. I mean, if you want fish, where would you go? Norway? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Wow. It's a very strong fishy smell. So I think since the fish was so delicate, it kind of just merged in with the other contents. It's very interesting. It still smells very prominently like cod. It's not like any other fish. It doesn't smell like salmon. It doesn't smell like tuna. It smells like cod. It's a very distinct smell. All right, let's give this a try. Oh my God. You can't see the cod, but when you put it in your mouth, that mash kind of dissolves and then you're left with the cod and the cod is so tender and creamy. It's honestly amazing. This is the prime example 
of a meal where it doesn't look too appetizing, but the texture is not what it seems. It really is not what it seems. Wow. I'm gonna take some of it out and put it on a bowl so that you guys can see better. And they give you a good amount of food as well. Which is pretty impressive. So there's still like about a quarter or a third of the, the main in there. Wow. And you don't want to add too much water because once this becomes a stew, the texture is completely ruined. You can see that that's a flake of cod right there. It's a pretty big flake. And there's a lot of cod in here. This isn't like mostly potatoes or whatever that's in here. That's holding it together. It's mostly cod. Let's try some spicy sauce. I don't think it needs it, but I mean, it can't hurt. It can only make it better, right? So, I think that's the tear notch right here, but it won't tear. Oh, there we go, it tears. It's a pretty interesting color. It's like a sriracha red. So let's just try a tiny bit on it. I'll actually try some on its own. <clears throat> wow. Ooh. It's not as spicy as I expected it to be. And it's got quite the vinegary taste, which I really like. The only offsetting part of this is definitely the color and the strong smell. But look at that. This meal is absolutely delicious. The spice adds a whole nother level to it. The, the acidity and like slight vinegar taste adds a whole nother level to that level. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend this with spicy sauce. Mm. This is definitely not a cheap ration to make because cod is a lot more expensive in this quantity than the quantity, for example, of that mediocre ground beef from the chili with beans I reviewed a couple weeks ago. You get way more of this meat, and this is much higher quality meat. That probably explains why these rations are considerably more expensive than the U.S. rations, on top of the fact that it has to be imported. The spicy sauce is actually too good to avoid. I need to put this on here. If you like spice, you don't even have to like too much spice. You just have to like spice at all. It's really good. Mm. So I will enjoy the rest of this meal without taking another 25, 30 minutes of your time. Wash it down with some of this fruit soup. Wow, so good. Let's try this peppermint chewing gum. I believe these are soy based according to the, according to the menu. Mmm. This gum has a crispy outer shell a very strong mint flavor. It just penetrates through your nostrils immediately. And it starts off with a harder texture, and it's not too sweet. It's very slightly sweet. Mm. This is really good after meal gum, but I'm going to have to spit it out now because I'm going to finish the rest of the meal. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this, as this was a very pleasurable experience for me. I've reviewed this ration. You see all the components here. It's just amazing. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. 
So yeah. Okay. Thanks for 30 minutes of your time, guys, and I will see you next week. And stay safe.